talk a bit of detail now about the hand position or what we erroneously call the grip. It's not a grip, that's a handle. We hold the handle in a position which creates power. If you grip something, it means to hold it fast and tight, which is a disaster for golf. So if you feel a little bit tense in your game, pick the club up, start to hold it lightly, and get a little bit of looseness in there. Now, in terms of the positioning of the fingers, that's the very famous Varden grip. And Harry Varden was one of the great players at the turn of the century. And he popularized this grip. He didn't invent it, but he sort of popularized it. Many good players have gone for the baseball grip in the past. And that's very helpful if you want to get a bit more whip in the hands that right hand then can work a bit more. Some players interlock and some players reverse overlap. Greg Norm was a famous reverse overlapper. Some players do this. Many players, if they want to stop a hook, take their trigger finger on their non-glove hand, their right hand, and they push it down the handle. Because what that then does, it weakens the energy in the right hand and it stops this rolling over position. Remember your hands have got several needs in a golf swing. One is to control the rotation and the second is to generate the leverage to create the power. Now if you hold that club poorly, or you grip it, i.e. tightly, that club becomes a prisoner and not a partner. Now when I hold my club here, I hold it lightly, and as I move it around here you can see it's soft in my hands to create power. So, in terms of a mark out of 10, if zero is hardly holding the club and 10 is clamping it with a grip, get yourself at four, five, or six. Now I like to, personally, Hold it a bit tighter than that, because I've got quite weak hands and wrists, so I need to put a little bit more pressure in there. But also I know that I can activate my wrists by doing that. So work on it, especially in the lockdown period. Have a little feel around, see what feels best, and see where you can get some leverage and some movement and some looseness in the hands.